100 years ago this month, a 36-year-old Albert Einstein stood up in front of the Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin to present a radical new theory of space, time, and gravity, the general theory of relativity. General relativity is unquestionably Einstein's masterpiece, a theory which reveals the workings of the universe at the grandest scales, capturing in one beautiful line of algebra everything from why apples fall from trees to the beginning of time and space. 1915 must have been an exciting year to be a physicist. Two new ideas were turning the subject on its head. One was Einstein's theory of relativity. The other was arguably even more revolutionary, quantum mechanics. A mind-meltingly strange, yet stunningly successful new way of understanding the micro-world, the world of atoms and particles. Over the last century, these two ideas have utterly transformed our understanding of the universe. It's thanks to relativity and quantum mechanics that we've learned what the universe is made from, how it began, and how it continues to evolve. A hundred years on, we now find ourselves at another turning point in physics, but what's at stake now is rather different. The next few years may tell us whether we'll be able to continue to increase our understanding of nature, or whether, maybe for the first time in the history of science, we could be facing questions that we cannot answer. Not because we don't have the brains or technology, but because the laws of physics themselves forbid it. This is the essential problem. The universe is far, far too interesting. Relativity and quantum mechanics appear to suggest that the universe should be a boring place. It should be dark, lethal, and lifeless. But when we look around us, we see we live in a universe full of interesting stuff. 